Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 120 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.7, 5.8. And in this video, we are going to continue uh, working on the pin code functionality that we have started in last video. And uh, you have seen that in last video, we able to uh, get the pin codes from some of the external website. We have imported the CSV uh, to our uh, pin codes table. Okay, we have got all the pin codes. And after that, we able to add here uh, field check before checking uh, means the pin code and uh, we started working on the jQuery and here we have got the pin code app and if in case the user will not enter his pin code then it will ask for uh, for entering the pin code okay so now we can continue further uh, updating uh, in main.js file and uh, here we need to add the in index part now because now we need to set the pin code uh, to uh, the Laravel function from where we are going to fetch the query in which we will compare the pin code with the uh, with the available pin code that we are here and we will return the message if the pin code is available or not okay so uh, yeah here we will add the ajax now and we can add it like this dollar ajax as we all know we have added earlier as well okay so ajax syntax we need to add okay so here uh, now we will pass type post okay so let's pass type post and after post we will pass the data and in data you already know that we will send the pin code okay pin code and after the pin code uh, we will send the url as well and url uh, we can send like check pin code okay check pin code is the url that we will send and uh, after that we will add that success function this check pin code url we will create a route and function for that and uh, this one uh, okay we have added so after that success function we need to write here success function okay so in this success function uh, we will get the response okay so we can edit like a response and here we can get the response okay here we can add like alert response and if we will get response uh, we can get here and here now we will add error function as well function and here uh, yeah we can add like this alert error as well okay so uh, this one that code we have added type post data pin code we are sending to the function and route we will uh, we have added check pin code route okay so this route we will create now in web.php file we are going to create this route and we will create this route outside the front login and front admin we can create uh, anywhere we want and this one I can bring it here up to this one okay so I'm going to create here after this one I can create the route okay so we will create that check pin code route check pin code okay and here we will add that route so route and post method we will uh, means uh, add here post and get check pin code and in product controller we will make function to check the pin code okay so we'll add like this check pin code okay so this function we will make in product controller okay now we will add the function but first of all we will close everything the other functions we close and so that we will add at the right place I can't 
Dios. Always uh, format your code, intend your code, so that you will not face issues in future. Okay, uh, so that everything is will be clear to you. So okay, fine. At the end, I am going to add the function and see here. Actually, I am checking uh, the front end and admin and functions because uh, somewhere I have added the admin functions and uh, front functions separately. Okay. So uh, sometimes I don't uh, like my code itself and I want everything like it is going here and see all the other codes are fine. So why it is going here, why there is space, uh, it must not be a space here and the code must be at an end here, why it is not closing and uh, we need to close other functions as well, see what is happening, see it is fine. So I always want things to be perfect okay so that it will be clear for us in future and it will uh, means we can understand our code in a better way okay so let's come to the function so we will add now a check pin code function here okay and here i'm going to uh, add that request as our function is post so we will get uh, the data from the post and here now we will add that one uh, condition if method post condition we are going to add if uh, dollar request is method post okay so here we are going to add dollar data dollar request or like this Oh, okay, so first of all, I will print here whether the data is coming fine or not up till here. So we will work on step by step that otherwise uh, we need to go back and it will take a lot of time. Okay, so this one, first of all, we will see. Okay, let's see first. And so that we will come to know that Ajax is, I mean, Ajax is getting the, Ajax is passing the data. Okay, so here and just is passing the data from this URL and uh, it will reach here and from here uh, and from here it will pass to this function and here we are going to uh, use echo okay so I'm going to open the console here and we'll see whether the data will reach here or not I'm going to refresh the page okay and remove whatever I have get removed and now I'm going to add some pin code here and we'll click on go and now see here error has come and we are going to see that which error has come okay so that error has come i think uh this error uh belongs to uh that uh token error might be so we need to make sure that uh means we have passed everything uh, as a token so in Laravel, if this error comes, there are a number of ways to sort of the issue in the previous attempts also. We have uh, added some kind of CSRF token in Ajax function as well, in jQuery as well. But there is one more way, uh, easy way to uh, add. You can, uh, you can open here in your middleware file. You can open that uh, verify CSRF token file. And here you can simply add this route. Okay, so that it will uh, leave this route. So, though it is better to add uh, the CSRF token in your uh, JS file here, we can add, we can pass that token, but uh, you can also left this one uh, by adding the route here, like uh, this route I'm going to add here. Uh, yeah, this one I'm going to simply, I'm going to copy and we'll add this route here, okay. Uh, like this and it will uh, not check this one and we are going to check again uh, that it will sort out the issue or not then 
might be some other issue but the token issue do come uh, and sorry not here here i'm going to check and i'm going to fill any pin code and we we'll click on go and this time you can see that pin code has come okay so you can do this step if some error comes to you then you can also add you can also left that uh, token kind of thing uh, by adding the route uh, in this file that file is called the verify csrf token and that is located in middleware okay so we have added like this and after that now we'll be able to get the pin code in our function as well now uh, we need to uh, compare this pin code uh, in our table and we need to see whether this pin code is available or not so what we will do we will add one uh, here uh, we are going to add that query and this time we will check from the db table we can directly pick the table uh, like pin code table otherwise you can also add model pin code model you can create <coughs> and can use as well but i have added like this and here i can add that viewer okay and we are going to compare it with the pin code okay and uh, then we are going to have this dot uh, pin code here this okay and we will now get the count like this and now we can compare this pin code mm, okay and if this pin code is greater than zero then uh, we can uh, may show the data like this pin code is available for delivery otherwise we will show that like this pin code is not available for delivery okay so we will add like this if uh, dollar pin code count okay if dollar pin code count okay uh, is greater than zero okay and then it will show here else uh, then it will show here okay then uh, we are going to pass the code uh, this pin code is available for delivery and and this one we can move like here in pin code is not available for okay like this okay so <clears throat> now this message will return here and uh, in main.js and we can alert here and let's see what will come now now the alert message must come that this pin code is valid or not uh, okay so here i'm going to pass some invalid pin code first and we'll see here uh the message has come this pin code is not available for delivery okay perfect and now i'm going to add some valid pin code like my own pin code one for one zero one and i am going to check here this pin code is not available for delivery again that message has come so we need to check in because we have not added so far so my list my city here is still not there you can check it out that my pin code is still not there because we have not added the complete list we have just added 10 percent of the list so that's why my pin code is not located here so you can check out that my pin code is still not here in table so that's why it is saying that pin code is not available okay so we can enter some valid pin code that is uh means that is in the list so i can copy one of the pin code from the list and can uh, text here and we'll click on go and you can see this pin code is available for delivery so it is working perfectly you can check out the message that the message is coming like this pin code is available for delivery it means the pin code is valid and you can get this product if you are going to place the order okay so it means uh, this time we are quickly matching uh, with the table and and returning the right message okay so here now we uh, also want to display here we want to display here uh, after this one uh, we don't want to display the alert otherwise you can show alert as well it's your choice but if you want don't want to show the alert you want to display here then we will uh, pass it to one id that we are going to display here then we can means comment the alert and we will pass the message uh, to one uh, uh one id that we are uh, we will create uh, and 
uh, we will create uh, me some deep or span id okay so in that id like we will create uh, uh, one id uh, like response response uh, response pin code response pin code response we can write like pin code response okay like this okay so we can uh, write like this and here uh, as test and if test is our response that we are getting okay and this pin code response uh, we are going to add in our detail build file and we can add here after the button we can add some span or div where we can display i can display span id we will give it like this and this one we can close like this okay so that now we are going to check and i'm going to refresh i'm going to close this one as well okay now i'm going to see here i will give some number and we see here see message is coming this pin code is not available for delivery okay if i will put some valid pin code any pin code from the list i can copy and we'll paste here okay so now i click on go and it is written here the pin code is available for delivery okay so like this you can show the pin code is actually available or not okay so uh, we can also show some other content as well uh, based on the response i'm going to you can also experiment with uh, some more content if you want okay so it's your choice if you want to add more content then uh, you can modify your code of your own okay and you can display whatever you want okay i can experiment with more things here because i want to do something see bold has come i have added bold and bold has come now i will add some kind of color to it font color like uh, red okay so you will come to know what i am going to do and see here now i write like this what color this one fine so what i am going to do i will check here if response equal to equal to and here i am going to get this one if response is available okay if response is available then uh, if response is or we have more choices as well you can modify uh, whatever you want you can do whatever you want because there are many things you can do you can show like this if response is available then this one if response is oh, sorry for that uh, yeah if response is available and if response is not available and if response is available then you can show in green message if response is uh, not available then click on the red message very easily and now you can check it out and here you can fill anything and you will get in red and if you will uh, means add something uh, that is correct and that we will show in green okay we can uh, check here so it looks wonderful and even there are better ways uh, for doing this kind of task yeah and the better way is uh, you can return uh, just you can return the number uh, from the function itself like here you we are calculating pin code count and that count we are going to send in js and based on that count we can give okay we can also try that okay see here i'm going to hide this one i'm going to hide this is just a try if you can do then you can do otherwise uh, there is uh, means it's up to you uh, you can keep on trying new things uh, so that experiment with the new things update the function update the function uh, try to do with different ways so that you can have more and more ideas and uh, when you are working on the real project and when you are having less time then more then lot more ideas come in your mind then you have lot of choices to finish your task easy uh, as well as tough choices means you are flexible with your code and you have number of choices to finish your task and uh, you can uh, means uh, you can easily do your task in a perfect way okay so here as well 
and uh, now i'm going to uh, compare this one like if the response is greater than uh, like if response is greater than zero okay then i'm going to remove everything like this okay if response is greater than zero then uh, we will show here the message uh, like this one this message we are going to so the same thing we are following and it will i think a lot of code uh, see here like this okay and here this pin code is not available like this and it's very simple okay and you can check it out simple like this okay and here as well i'm going to save this one and here as well not required anything means see here a lot of your code is gone away it becomes very simple see only two three lines here and two three lines there as well okay at both the places you have less data okay now we can check again whether uh, it will uh, show the perfect results or not you will first click on this pin code is not available for delivery now we can add some other pin code this time i'm going to have the complete list okay then uh, i will have uh, some other pin code this time oh it is taking time okay so this time i will try to get some other pin code and i will get down to some other list and i can yeah hyderabad okay hyderabad is a big city in india and i will try to get uh, sorry i will copy this pin code and we'll check there okay i just copy this pin code and we'll check here and now see the pin code here and here it is still not coming to the phone here i'm going to refresh and we'll try again no this is a wrong result but we are going to check why this issue has come because everything we are doing is uh smoothly so if things are going smoothly then we think why they are going smoothly uh, see here empty empty result is coming why uh, because empty result is coming because uh, uh because it is not returning anything because the wrong data is not returning anything only correct data is returning and we will see why this issue is coming and uh, see here echo we have forgot to add we need to add here echo now it will return data now we will see here okay now nothing is required okay now we can simply check okay now it must work and we can try once again and we'll see whether the pin code will match first of all i will add some wrong pin code and you can see it is coming fine and now i am going to pick that hyderabad pin code once again i am going to copy this pin code okay and uh, copy this one and we'll paste here and click on go as well then now you can see the pin code is available for delivery okay so this is the third method that we have uh, tested and it is coming fine and you can choose either of the way our purpose is one and uh, we need to uh, check for the pin code and it is working fine okay and now uh, that is fine it is working fine but we will also add this pin code check at the time of order placement so that uh, means uh, user uh, not end up uh, means uh, it is not good for the user as well as for the client because then we if we can't deliver the uh, that product it will waste the user as well as in the client time so we need to uh, only deliver those uh, only uh, means allow the users to order for those only those products only those orders need to be get placed that we can deliver okay so another check we will add in at the time of checkout okay so here as far as the detail page is concerned we have added 
of the functionality here in detail detail page is over with this functionality okay so if you are having any comments you can uh, me uh, give in that uh, at the end of the uh, description there in uh, under the uh, youtube video you can add your comments and you can ask me if you have any queries and you uh, also subscribe and uh, for this video session and because you are going to get lot of videos lot and lot of videos we are also apparently starter view.js i'm also going to start react very soon and uh, there is no technology that we can't do and we will do from the scratch and even the uh, person who is having any basic knowledge of laravel basic knowledge of php can uh, means uh, can do that task that kind of videos i want to post so means uh, so help yourself help me tell your friends as well and uh, gain knowledge by sharing uh, okay and uh, let's uh, uh, do all this kind of stuff okay day by day okay then uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye